Hello there, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Gary GZ Duels here today to play some raccoons. I'm not playing uh, Heratic. Okay, so yeah, I'm playing raccoons by your request. Uh, you guys gave me a lot of deck requests, which was very, very helpful. Uh, but there were too many to choose from, and the only way that I thought it was fair to choose from was uh, by a random uh, YouTube comment selector. Um, and then I did, and uh, I came up with raccoons, so that was pretty good. I found that this was very helpful. You know, um, not only do I get to satisfy your request, it's kind of like uh, more interaction with you guys in my videos. So I think uh, whenever I'm going to um, do a new deck, so whenever I'm posting a deck profile, you guys are feel free to comment down below. Um, just tell me what deck you want to see, just like one uh, deck per comment. You can comment multiple times, that's totally cool. And then, of course, I'm going to use a random uh, YouTube comment selector and I'm gonna select a one uh, randomly and then I'm gonna do that deck for the that week um, and that will hopefully um, cater to your uh, wants so right now I'm playing raccoons and uh, the raccoon deck is really cool because even though there's one Thunder King you only really need one Thunder King and you can just like sit on it because you have infinite like back row support uh, these raccoon monsters the good thing about them is they generate so many pluses you summon out one raccoon you get to summon out another raccoon from your deck you know with tan tan with like this uh, other raccoon thing over here uh, this uh, Ponoko and really it's just you just have um, these extra cards left over in your back row to protect whatever you want so as you can see next turn uh, it will go into a sequence in which I just uh, basically uh, use all of my back row to stop all of the moves that he's able to do so he summons out Phonon Thrasher I kind of prematurely use bottomless which is you know kind of my fault but it's okay whatever it's all good uh, he summons out, uh, he uses his uh, Heraldry Art. He tries to summon out um, the uh, Chidori. He wants me to kind of negate it. Uh, I didn't negate it because, you know, its, it's effect is kind of negligible, so I'm going to use just Fiendish Chain. I want to keep this Thunder King on the field because this Thunder King is OP against his deck because his deck, uh, the Heraldic Beast, really just centers around special summoning and centers around... Um, uh, adding cards from the deck to the hand so with Thunder King I can prevent him from doing that good thing I set two Venus chains so he's unable to do anything whatsoever and the next turn because he has like a 2800 attack monster on the field I can just take advantage of that fact and uh, try to actually just uh, copy his attack with my uh, Raccoon King Sun Dio so that's pretty cool so as you can see, um, you can flip up Tan Tan, and then Tan Tan will also earn you a plus. It's a plus two technically, because when you summon this guy out, this guy just destroys one card on the field. So like that's super OP. Just to make sure that he, his back row isn't like Mirror Force or whatever, I'm going to summon out Sent Dayu, and I'm going to use the effect, and then my token all of a sudden becomes 2,800 attack. I still have a normal summon, so I'm going to normal summon again, go for another Sent Dayu, and I'm going to use that effect again to get another token that's 2,800 attack. Now, if I attack into his monster, because it's under uh, Phoenix Chain, it will not come back. So that's pretty interesting. And then uh, I'm going to attack uh, him with the rest of my monster. So that's pretty good. Uh, the deck, as you can see, I just... There, there's really not that much to say. You, your monsters do all the work for you, and then your back row just protect the weakness of your monsters. It's like perfect synergy. I think this deck can be really, really good, potentially. So now it's my opponent's turn. He really can't do much. Even if he draws into a monster, he's not able to use the effect of his field card to add stuff. He draws into uh, uh, the Heraldic Beast Lion, and then even if he summons it out, even if he summons out Leo, I'm going to Mirror Force that, and next turn I'll just win. So I really like how I'm able to lock him down completely with the Raccoons and with Thunder King. I hope you guys enjoyed this deck. This is Gary GZ Duels, signing out.